Hey everybody, it's the newest haunted house feature here in Philly. It's right here in Maniunk. So big they even have their own trolley. It's the trick or trolley. Because you know, parking's really tight in Maniunk. So they have a trolley that'll run up and down Main Street so that you don't have to worry about parking. I, I think this is it. I don't know, let's go check it out, come on. You know, the old Mad River here in Maniunk, remember it was underwater, it was all flooded out? Well, that's part of the storyline here at the haunted house, the new haunted house, right here on Main Street in Maniunk. I'm hey, looking Bob. for, oh! Hey, Mike. Good How are you, man? You found so, me. So tell me the story. Yeah, so, you know, I, I purchased the building back in March of 21, and, you know, we were renovating for a new, uh, you know, tenant coming in here. The flood happened in September 2nd and totally decimated us. We, our elevator equipment, a major electrical systems, everything wiped out. Our business done with. Everything everything was gone in this building, and uh, I couldn't get a new tenant. Okay. I, we couldn't, so I ended up, an old college friend of mine, Jared, we uh, rekindled the flame and started a business together, a haunted house. Here, like a butcher. Oh my gosh. You look at this. Ah! You know, when you walk through, I'm almost afraid to kind of what's around the corner. Because you never know. Ah! So, across the street, a, a company was also damaged in water, and they gave all of the old equipment which you've been able to use throughout the whole yeah, we, attraction. G.J. Littlewoods, you know, uh, Hurricane Ida actually put them out of business and they've closed up after decades and decades. Uh, they were throwing out all their mill equipment, they gave it to us so we could save it, repurpose it, and, wow. and keep it in our haunted house for many years to come. Uh-oh, hello. They have the characters, over 60 characters that are walking around, scaring everybody. <laughs> Where's my buddy Jared? So you are the mastermind behind the scare tactics. What's your background? Sure, so I am a licensed architect. I design schools for a living. But now what's neat about this, this is a 180 degree twist from designing schools. So schools yeah. is all about designing spaces that make you feel well. Here, we're trying to make, we're trying to achieve the exact opposite. The exact opposite. How, oh, wow. yeah. how we create themes and sets to really disorient you and make you feel very uncomfortable. Storyline is, is that the, the previous owner of this mill tortured his employees and they found 30 of them in the basement in a hidden chamber. Take him now, my friend! He's not a You all make it out of here alive! Guys, help me! Help me! Help me! Oh, help me! Oh my god! So is this where it ends up? This, this, this is uh, this is where it ends up. Um, you know what you're looking at. Obviously, you know you see the Schuylkill River, the trail, the, the infamous bridge photo. Um, you know at nighttime too. This will be um, a, a VIP section area where we'll have high top tables for guests that purchase VIP tickets or just midway access only tickets that don't want to go inside the haunt. Yeah. So where do we get tickets? LincolnMillHaunt.com. Uh, we are recommending everyone purchase them in advance. Obviously, you can purchase them at the door, but it's all through your your cell phone. Listen, you guys, go. I got to go change my underwear. Be sure to come back! Tell your friends! You can all be part of my collection! 